Hi crypto fans, welcome to CCS Cryptocurrency State. My name is Santiago, I'm a web developer and investor. And in today's video, I bring you another airdrop. This is Layer Zero. Layer Zero is part of and powered by Stargate. And there are many big companies behind this airdrop, so I really recommend you to pay attention. I'm going to cover everything step by step. I'm going to tell you why I think this could be one of the biggest airdrop because PayPal and other companies is on this. So we are going to cover, like always in my videos, step by step, how to do what we need to do in order to get the maximum possible scenario for the airdrop, what to bridge, what to vote, and everything for layer zero. Before we begin, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, click the bell to get the notifications, and without anything else, let's go into it. Hey guys, well like I mentioned in this video we are covering layer 0 airdrop. This is a project powered by Stargate. So I have all the things that we need to do in order to get this airdrop. And like you know, I have been covering a lot of airdrops already Arbitrum, Seek I Think. We are going to cover layer 0 today and tomorrow or the day after tomorrow sweet. So we also cover Starknet so and the Optimism airdrop 2 is already covered in my videos. So please guys, after doing this layer 0 airdrop, go and check Starnet, check Arbitrum, check Seek I Sing because it's really important and you can, could get a lot of money. And Optimism new airdrop also is not cheap, but you can do thousands of dollars. Mostly in Optimism and Arbitrum are the biggest one of the year, Seek I Sing, Starnet also. So guys, why I think this airdrop of layer 0 is very important? Well, first of all, and shout out to Airdrop Adventure, you can join and follow him. So in the call you can see already that they are mentioning a CRO token. So this is already a proof that they plan to have a token. So an airdrop eventually is what makes more sense here. So this is a very great opportunity to start doing everything for the airdrop. And why I think this could be a massive income on an airdrop? Well, because Stargate Finance recently raised a whopping 135 million fund led by Sequoia Capital, FTX Ventures, Anderson Horowitz, Coinbase Ventures, PayPal Ventures, Tiger Global, Uniswap Labs, and other investors. So they have enough fund to make it one of the biggest airdrop ever. And also, this is the first ever Web3 project that is invested by PayPal. So for me, that is enough to think that everyone in the community of Layer 0 that use the ecosystem, it will get a very nice airdrop. So let's go to the step by step here. First of all, we need to bridge on the Layer 0 bridge. The links on the description for everything are, it's going to be there. So first go to this link and we are going to use the Gorling network. And here we may need to add this new network. So basically if you have your MetaMask, click on connect wallet, click on MetaMask, click next to connect. And once that you are connected, you need to change here and go to Garlic Testnet. So click there, Garlic Testnet. You will switch from the network that you are into Garlic. So once that you are connected to Garlic Testnet, what we need to do is to bridge something in this testnet. You can see that says layer zero here. So for doing that, Let's go to the faucet USDC. So you click the link, you paste your address here and click submit. And you will see this that says success USDC, it will arrive shortly. So this means that you are going to receive one USDC here. And with only that USDC, we are going to be able to make one transaction here that it will be okay. The idea for all the steps guys, is that you need to do everything that we are going to do in the video as much as possible. Not maybe the bridges, but all the swaps and the moves between different wallets. So you get a lot of transactions in the layer zero ecosystem, which also is the Stargate ecosystem. So always keep an eye on that. And that always applies for every airdrop. As much transactions you have, that means that you are really supporting and using the network. So after a couple of minutes, you can see that it says that I have one USDC here. So click max here. And if you click for the token, you can see that in Guerli says one. But after you see that you have the USDC, this is not enabled yet. It says that there's not enough native for gas. 
and you can do it many other times. For example, now I have three there, so I will click max here to get three on the balance. Now let's click here the faucet Ethereum. In order to do this, you need to log in for the Alchemy login and then you will put your address here and click on send me Ethereum. You can do this only one per, per day. You can log in to Alchemy with your Google account. Now that you are logged in to the Alchemy, just put your address here, click send me Ethereum. And if you didn't use it in the last 24 hours, you are going to receive 0.1 worldly Ethereum. And guys, remember that uh, for the button to be ready to transfer, you need to have Ethereum Guerly test. So after going to the faucet as USDC, I already have four of these. This uh, you can take any amount that you want first. But for the faucet Ethereum, remember you need to have Ethereum in your Guerly wallet. You can check here in my MetaMask. I'm um, in Guerly test network. I have 0.097. So the transaction for this, I think is about 0.05 or 0.07. Be sure that have enough of Girl Ethereum in order so this button is available for you. So if you already have your USDC, but you still have this, this button that says that you don't have enough for the transaction fee, remember that you need to get more Ethereum faucet. Once that you are in the same situation, click transfer. Confirm the transaction, wait for the approving. This could take some minutes. And after some minutes, you can see that I need to confirm the transaction. And look, you can see here how much is the cost. It's 0.065, so you need to have all that. Click confirm to confirm the transaction. And the transaction was submitted, so now we need to wait for the transaction to be complete. You can check the progress here, clicking the button to view this in the testnet of the layer zero scan.com. So you can see that we are searching here for the message to be indexed and that could take a minute. But besides that, once the transaction is submitted, this is all for these guys. So let's wait that the pending gets it to succeed and you will be done with this part. So for the part two guys, we need to bridge on liquidswap.com. So we are going to go there. And this is a little tricky, so pay attention. You can see that it says layer zero here on Pontum Network. Pontum Network also has a drop, so this will help you for that too. So here, what you are going to do is bridge from different networks, but one of those is Aptos. So you will need to have a new wallet if you don't have it yet. So click connect down here. So you, for the Aptos connection, you need one of these wallets. I recommend you connect to Pontem. If it's your first time here, it will pop up to create your wallet. So let's create the wallet here on Pontem network. Put the password after click create, click on confirm. And before connect, please confirm the memo technique wallet recovery phrase. So click here on resolve on your app knows wallet. Once you save those 12 words that you need to put after, uh, you will get your wallet already correctly done. So here you have your address. So now you can connect here down here with a Pontem and above here with your MetaMask. Let's connect the MetaMask. And down here, you can see that we are connected to Aptos, to uh, the new wallet that we just created that ends with 1.5. So you can see here 1.5. So we are connected there and with a MetaMask. So now you can bridge anything from one network to another. For example, you can see that you have Ethereum here, but in different networks, also USDC. You can go down here and see that. I will move uh, Ethereum from Arbitrum here and I will move it into Rapid Ethereum from Aptos. So I will try to put the list that I need and I will click transfer. You will be moved to the Arbitrum one in my case or to the network that corresponds in your case. Confirm the transaction with the gas fees. You can see in Arbitrum is really, really uh, low. Submitting the transaction, you see that it's transferring and the first time, don't forget to claim, read this correctly because initially you don't have any transaction there or any tokens. Click OK. No. Now we now need to go and bridge on the aptosbridge.com. So let's go there. We will need to do the same, connect the wallet. Now we already have aptos wallet. So connect your MetaMask and connect your aptos wallet. 
Remember here guys you need to be in Aptos mainnet, always Aptos mainnet there, right? So now I will move some Ethereum from Arbitrop into Rapid Ethereum in Aptos. Click transfer, confirm the transaction, transaction submitted, you can see here on the block. And now you can see guys we are in layer 0 scan.com, this is mainnet. Now guys even if say spending here in the block you can see that I already have my Rapid Ethereum here. So this work it. And after some minutes you can see here that in layer 0 this was delivered already guys. So you can see that we already bridged to the Aptos bridge. So let's go into the point 4. This is to bridge also and swap again into the liquidity pool on Stargate. Remember Stargate is the one be behind la layer 0. So let's go into Stargate Finance. Connect your wallet, in this case Metamask. So guys, now we are in Stargate that Finance. I am going to transfer, so this is making a bridge. Basically you can select a network here and you can transfer the same asset into another network. In this case I am moving from Avalanche into Arbitrum, a USDT. So let's move for example just to make a transfer, to make a bridge. So I will cl click approve here. Remember that for the gas fees you need to have what you have selected here for network. So I will need some AVAX for the transaction. Click approve, confirm. Now the transaction is pending, confirm the transaction, the approval was confirmed, so now the transaction was submitted and you have a timer here how much time it will take for this to be done, it says 1 minute at this moment. You can see here if you click on one pending you can see the view of the transaction and it was already success. So now if I go to Arbitrum you can see that I already received almost the three dollars less the transaction and here you can see the transaction was confirmed. So now I have in Arbitrum three dollars, almost three dollars. So this is already done. Now I will try to put some pool in the liquidity here. I will try to put those three dollars on Arbitrum in this pool. Once you click approve, confirm here to give permission and click confirm to add the liquidity. So that is also done. So we already bridge and transfer here on point 4 and we add liquidity on Stargate. So try to do everything that you can do in Stargate that will be always beneficial. Maybe you can farm or maybe you want to do another transfer maybe in a 24 hour period. All the transactions that you do in Stargate it will be good for the airdrop. Now let's go to point 5 which is we need to buy Stargate token to stake it in Stargate to be able to vote in the DAO on snapshot.org. This will take a little of time, so let's go step by step. Stargate token, you can see Stargate Finance is STG, is a token, the value is 49 cents. So to get the Stargate Finance token, you can see all the exchanges that support it. You can go to Uniswap with Optimism, you can do in many places. I'm going to go to Trade Show because I want to move some Avalanche tokens, AVAX, into this STG token. So I will search here for STG, you can see Stargate token, and I will transfer some USDT into that. How many do you need? Actually really really low. With $2 is enough, so that will give you 4 STG, and that is enough. Even $1 I think is enough. So let's swap this. Transaction submitted. Now you can see here I have 4 STG in my balance. Let's go again into Stargate.Finance. I am connecting with my MetaMask in the Avalanche network. Go to Stake and you will see here if you have your STG tokens that you have available this in Avalanche. So I will click that and let's stake everything. The stake duration is between 1 to 36 months. So I don't recommend you to put too much money on this because after a stake you will get BESTG which is the voting power. This is what we need. So just put a comfortable amount that you are going to be staking here. And the stake duration I will put only 2 months. You can see if you put more months your voting power it will increase. But in my case I will put 2 months only. Click create stake. Approve it, confirm the transaction, the transaction is being confirming, transaction confirmed, so this already finished it, so I already staked 4.07 STG, 
and that gives me a voting power of 0.21 BESTG. And if you go to stake again, you can see that you have 0.21 BSTG and 0 available to stake. So my voting power 0.2 and this is for 60 days. So now let's go and click here for vote on snapshot. And this part guys, you need to be up to date here on snapshot.org. You need to have an account here. And once you have an account, you search here for Stargate and you click join. Then enter into the Stargate DAO. There's 27k members. And here are the proposals that you need to vote. All of these are closed guys. So right you right now you have voting power. You can see BSTC voting power. This was the last proposal. So click here to see if there's a, any active proposal. So there's no proposal active and you need to vote in one active proposal. But this one just closed it yesterday at 7 p.m. here. So this was from October 20 to now October 23. So now that you have your voting power, you need to wait for the new proposal. So this will not be over here. You need to wait. And when the SEP 18 appears, so the proposal 18 appears, you need to vote on that. Right now, you already have your BET power. So you need to do that. Because when the proposal is created, they take a snapshot to the voting power that is in the network. And you cannot enter here and vote if previously at the moment of the snapshot, you can see here the block, you didn't have any voting power. So please do this. Like I mentioned in this video, get your voting power, stake your STG tokens. And now wait for the next proposal, the number 18. Once you get that, you will be able to vote and you will be already a voter of the Stargate DAO here. So the last one closed yesterday. So please check, check every day that you have a new proposal here on snapshot.org inside the Stargate DAO. And once you vote that, you will be able to get the airdrop as a voter. So guys, that is point 0.5. So we bought a Stargate token and we stake it into Stargate to be a DAO voter on the snapshot.org. And finally, let's put a name on the governance forum to Stargate. So you look at a human and not someone that is only interested in the airdrop. So to doing that, come back to Stargate Finance in stake. Click on governance forum. Click in login. Connect your MetaMask. Switch into Ethereum. Click here on sign. You will see here that size looks like this address hasn't been connected before. So now put new account and put a name here. Now you will have a dashboard here with your account. So you look more like a human. You can edit your profile, save your changes. And after you get some governance voting and everything, you will be able to get here and get everything here in your profile. So guys, that is all for this video. This is everything for layer zero airdrop. Remember to try to do more transactions. I will start doing it this at least one transaction each uh, 24 or 48 hours. So you get more volume on transactions in layer zero. Also try to do it in Stargate Finance. The recap of this video was we bridge on layer zero bridge. This is a test net on Guarly network. We bridge in liquid swap. We bridge in the Aptos bridge. We needed to get the new Aptos mainnet uh, wallet here. We bought Stargate token and stake it. And that gives us the power for voting. So now we are going to wait the next proposal. But we already have some voting power. So we are going to be in the next proposal to be voting for the snapshot. And we put some name in the governance forum on Stargate. So we look human there. Guys, that is all for this video. Remember to check my other videos of Starnet, Airdrop, Arbitrum, CK Sync, Optimism. I am covering everything for you so you can earn a lot of money in these airdrops, guys. And put your comments below if you need any help or if you, something is not working for you. I am answering every message that I can in order to get you, all of you guys, into this airdrop. That is all for the video. Remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, click the bell to get the notifications, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.